Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week I'm revisiting a Mac application that I use every single day and one that is absolutely indispensable to our workflows here at Screencasts Online. The app is Text Soap by Unmarked Software. Text Soap is a fantastic application that allows you to clean sections of text based on preset rules or custom rules that you can create yourself. And by clean I mean to transform or format text, to remove specific characters, convert case and much, much, much more. So let's take a look at Text Soap. There are two primary ways to get hold of Text Soap. Uh, Text Soap 8, which is the version that we're looking at at the moment. You can go across to the unmarked.com website. There is a trial version on there. You can download and try it. And you can also buy it directly from the website as well. It's also available on Setapp. So if you go across to Setapp, if you have a Setapp subscription, it's included as part of your Setapp subscription. You just go back across to the unmarked.com website. Now we are looking at Text Soap 8 today. Uh, that requires Mac OS 10.10 uh, .10 or later. I do know that Text Soap 9 is in development and that should be out probably in conjunction with the release of the next version of Mac OS 10 later on in the year. But the core principles, the actual uh, functionality of Text Soap uh, remains the same, remains constant. So what I will probably do when Text Soap 9 comes out is just bring you up to date in one of our weekly tip videos. So let me pop Safari down out of the way and let's give you an example of how you might use text soap. Now, as you can see, I have a text edit document here, just a plain text document, pretty poorly formatted. I've got uh, additional spaces within sentences. I've got leading spaces at the beginning of this sentence, uh, forwarding characters. Uh, so basically, it's going to take me a little while to go through and edit this manually, or I can use text soap. And the way I would use text soap would be to select the text, so Command A to select the entire section of text, Command C to copy to the clipboard, and then I'm just going to invoke text soap. Right, and immediately you'll see I haven't had to paste the contents of the clipboard into text soap. It's copied it in automatically for me in this new clipboard workspace. Uh, there are four different ways actually of using text soap. You can use this workspace option, uh, which I tend to use quite a bit. You can also use a text soap menu bar item. We'll look at that shortly. You can also use Mac OS 10 services as well. There's integration with Mac OS 10 services. And you can also use Apple Script as well. So if you want to automate uh, any of your text cleaning functions, you can use Apple Script. And I'll show you some examples of how we use that here at Screencasts Online. Now, before we delve into the user interface, uh, let's just have a look at cleaning this text up quickly and going back to our document. So there are a number of cleaners down here at the side, uh, all various libraries of cleaners. But this one here at the top, this scrub, uh, will clean up most things, really. As you can see, it will it will strip spaces, it will strip forwarding characters, etc. So to invoke this, all I do is just click it once and that text has now been cleaned. So all the uh, double spaces have been removed, the leading characters have been removed, the leading spaces at the beginning of lines has been removed as well. So what I can do now, if I just do Command Q to close down text soap, and then Command V to paste, you'll see that that cleaned piece of text was automatically pasted back to the clipboard when I close the application, and I can just paste it directly into my text edit document in its uh, pristine format. So that's a very simple way, and that's using the, the scrub uh, to do common actions. But more often than not, there's other things you need to do as well. So let me open up another text edit document. So this is another document, uh, some additional things in here now. So we've got uh, an ellipse character here. In fact, it's not an ellipse character, it's just three dots. So we need to change that to an ellipse character. Uh, plenty of spaces between extra carriage returns. Uh, we've even got spaces that are missing, so these words are jammed together here. So again, same process. Uh, Command A to select, Command C to copy, and then if I invoke text soap. Okay, that's pasted automatically. I can just run scrub again, um, but you'll see it hasn't completely fixed things. It hasn't fixed uh, this missing space. Also, it hasn't capitalized the beginnings of some of these sentences. So I'm going to work on this a little bit further by looking at some additional cleaners. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive, 
full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.